Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I am going to discuss about the Spring Web Flux, which is a extension of the Spring Reactive Programming. And basically in this video we will be discussing about the Mono and Flux. So let me tell you what is Web Flux. So Web Flux is a reactive web framework in Spring, and it was added as a part of 5.0 release of Spring. Okay, it offers all the reactive way of programming like it offers asynchronous non-blocking and event driven approach for the data processing this is all concept we have discussed in the earlier video in a spring reactive programming it also offers reactive stream back pressures and runs on the server like netty under 2 or the servlet 3.1 containers so i will discuss about mono and flux or how we can use uh, how we can discuss the publisher and subscriber using a mono and flux Okay, how the mono and how the flux is behaving, I will discuss those things. So come to the IntelliJ, let me create one project and then I will show you those things. So I'm simply creating one Spring Boot project here. So let's say uh, this project name is, let's say its name is Mono Flux Spring Application. Okay, do next. Let me add the Spring Reactive dependency here and then create this project. Uh, open in a new tab okay so let it be open and then i'm going inside and then i'm creating a like what i will do i will just simply create a java test class and there i will call the public static voidman method and inside that i will demonstrate the use of mono and flux okay so let me go inside this go to the source main java okay it is not opening in the maven structure so let me close it and reopen this again okay go go to the open recent and then this things open new tab and then just wait for a second here the pop-up will come for the maven load something like that and then we'll see yeah you can see it come load maven project it will take few seconds to load it and from there after we can start our development so yeah i think it's done go to the source go to the main yeah so here i'm just going to create a test class let's say test class okay and then i'm just calling psvm And here I will create a, a publisher of type mono. Let's say mono. What is mono? So here it is like uh, how it is like a data structure in the reactive programming, I would say. So let's say mono of type is string. And then let's say its name is mono string. Okay, let me import it. And then what we are doing? Uh, we are calling the mono dot just and here we are providing the data so let's say it's a uh, engineering adda so what did we did we just created one publisher called mono string and we have given it's a uh, data now <clears throat> with the help of a subscriber we'll call this subscribe method of the mono string publisher and then all those uh, things that we have discussed earlier like how the call is between the publisher and subscriber all those things will happen i will show you how uh, when this methods are called and what is the sequence of them so let me go to the intellij first and then so here what i did i just created a publisher called mono string and i provided a data to them now i'm just going to call the subscribe method of the publisher okay so Let's say it's mono string dot subscribe and here I'm just uh, printing it out system dot. I'm just using the method reference. Okay, so uh, let me run this. So you can see that uh, this event, uh, this data will be printed here into the console. Okay, so and uh, yeah, you can see that data is printed here in the console. I will show you what is the exact uh, method calling uh, 
in the background. So here you can come and then call a method called log and then run it again so that you can see uh, what is the method called in the background. So, so here you can see that uh, we are uh, first we are calling the subscribe method of the publisher. Uh, this is what uh, let me go to the block diagram. You can see first the subscriber is calling the subscribe method of the publisher. Then subscription event is triggered from the publisher. So you can come here and then see. Uh, sorry, you can come here into the IntelliJ and then see that on subscribe method is triggered from the publisher. When we call the subscribe method of the publisher, then on subscribe event of the subscription is triggered by the publisher. Now, with the help of the request method of the subscription event, uh, this subscriber will ask for the data. And with the help of on next event, the publisher will uh, provide the data so that uh, we can see here the data is coming. And then if everything is good, then on complete method will be triggered. So with the help of Mono, we can only access one object at a time or one entity at a time. So that is why you can see only one on next method is there. Okay, but in the case of uh, Flux, we can have multiple entity or multiple data at the same time. So multiple on next method will be invoked at that time when we are using Flux. So come to this block diagram. I will show you again. So subscriber is calling the subscribe method of the publisher, then subscription event is triggered from the publisher. And then with the help of the subscription method, which is request, we are calling uh, for the data. And then with the help of on next event, the publisher is publishing that data. And if the data is published uh, completely, or let's say perfectly, then on complete method is triggered. If some error is happening, then on error method will be triggered. Okay, so let me show you uh, how the flux is working and then after that we'll show you the scenario of on, on error. So go to the IntelliJ and then let me open, let me create a flux object and then I will show you those things. So similar way we can create the flux as well. So let's say it is flux. So here I'm creating the object of flux. So let's say it is flux string. Okay, and then here we are providing, uh, let's say it would be flux. Okay, and here we'll be providing the, we can provide more than one data. So let's say it's uh, YouTube, and then let's say Java, something like that, and Spring, Reactive, something like that, Spring, let's say the fifth data is Spring Reactive. So we can provide more than one data. Now what we am doing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call the subscribe method with the help of the flux string. So let me print and then I will show you how many times the on next event is coming. So for the first one, for the mono, we can see that this is the logs. This is the call of uh, methods. And for till this, uh, it is for the mono. We are calling the subscribe. Uh, we are calling the subscribe method of the publisher with the help of Mono, and then we are uh, then the on request on on subscribe method is triggered from the publisher. Then request method we are sending to the publisher, and then on next method is coming with the data, and then on complete. Similarly for the flux, we are calling the subscribe method of the publisher flux, and then on subscribe event is triggered from the publisher and then we are asking for the data with the help of request and here we need to provide the number of the data that we asked for so you can see uh, like internally it will be providing the number of data like it has it has six data uh, sorry five data then the argument should be five now on next event will be triggered five times so you can see the first time we are getting the data engineering at the second time youtube third time java fifth time spring and sixth time spring reactive and then everything is working fine then on complete method is triggered so this is what i was just about to uh, show you so mono is for the single entity and 
flux is for more than one entity now coming to the another scenario i will show you what if some exception is happening or some error is happening in between then what is the flow so ideally the flow should be uh, let me go to the diagram so ideally the flow should be when we are calling the subscribe method subscription event should be triggered from the publisher then we'll ask for the request and then all the data will be provided and then if some error is happening then the error will be triggered right so let me go there and then we'll show you i think the data should not be provided let me go and then uh, we'll try to hit and then see so let's say uh, i'm just trying to put a exception here so let's say it's a new exception or runtime exception okay and this is not way this is not the way how we can call the exception in the reactive programming uh, we should be wrapping it with the mono dot something like yeah mono dot error okay and then here we can give it and then we'll see so and yeah this should not be the string type let me put the question mark here Okay, so we are generating the exception for the mono and let me run it and then we'll see what is happening. So what is the flow now I will show you for the mono. So for mono you can see we are calling the subscribe. Okay, after that on subscribe is coming up, request is coming up. But on next event is not coming because we are getting this error. Okay, so this is how the flow when we are having any exception or any error between the call so yeah this is what i just wanted to show you so this is all about the mono and flux if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content